The slides show us where we are in 2009. The work that needs to be done is before us, especially if we hope to end poverty in Minnesota and cut U.S. poverty in half by 2020. Gary Cunningham, Vice President of Programs at Northwest Area Foundation, will help us understand the challenges and possibilities of enough for all. Mr. Cunningham. Wow. Those statistics were something, weren't they? They're sobering for a land so rich, for a place so vibrant, that we, a place of opportunity and hope, that we, at this place in time, on this cold night in Minnesota, would have no room in the inn, no place for people to go. Now, I grew up believing in America, in the American dream, in the Horatio Alger story of rags to riches. I was taught that if I worked hard enough, if I did the right things, that I would be rewarded. In this country, those rag to riches stories no longer exist. And in fact, in the last 30 years, the wealth gap has gotten so large that average middle class individuals, or what was once middle class, are now moving into poverty in our communities. Now, I'm not without hope, and I don't want you to leave in despair, because I have the opportunity at the Northwest Area Foundation, which serves eight states, to travel to Indian reservations, to low-income, small rural communities, to urban places, and there are people working in all spheres throughout our eight state region that are giving up their incomes and their time and their uh, intellectual capital to give back to others. I've been in places where people are, uh, could make all kind of money or going back in community and changing it. Right here in Minnesota, we have some great organizations one of which is putting on this, sponsoring this event tonight. Can you give it up for the organization? The dream, the dream of a Minnesota without poverty is not a dream that we can give up on. It is not a dream. Now, I'll tell you something, you know, it is in those darkest days that we can see the light. Am I right about that? It is, it is, you know, you think about Martin Luther King for a minute, and, you know, the morning he had to get up and go and march in Selma, Alabama, knowing that he was going to get beaten, knowing that he was going to go to jail. Do you think he got up this morning and said, oh, God, I can't do it? Oh, it's too hard. The road is too rough. Do you think that he got up that morning and said, uh, you know, uh, the legislature has changed and we got to give up? <laughs> Do you think that the vision of civil rights, which at that time nobody believed in, nobody believed that we could change the dynamics of this country, but you know what? He's clung to that vision, clinging to the vision of Minnesota without poverty is the right 
it's the moral, it's the imperative thing that we must do because, you know, nobody can tell you what's going to happen tomorrow. You know, I think back, you know, I, I, I remember a time when we didn't have curb cuts on the sidewalk. You all remember that? And at the time they proposed curb cuts on the sidewalk, everybody was up in arms. You know, and, and it was about the issue and the movement of people with disabilities to say, we need curb cuts in these sidewalks, right? Now, you wonder, you say, what is he talking about, curb cuts in the sidewalk? Well, at that time when they put curb cuts in the sidewalk, uh, all the engineers said it couldn't be done. All the other people said it was too expensive. And, uh, and by the way, why are we doing this for these people with disabilities? And you know what? Now, today, it's a natural thing, right? We have curb cuts, in there, and we all take advantage of it. We don't, we, we ride our bikes up and down the street, and we go up to curb cuts. We walk our children. We all benefit from something that was an impossible task at one time. Now, you know, I say to go, if we're all in the mall together and on the third floor is Christmas season, on the third floor of the mall is a great sale. On the third floor of the mall, we create opportunity for all and you can actually benefit. And you know, some of us to get to the third floor, we get on the escalator and go on up, right? easy, get on escalator and go up and you go up and you get opportunity on the third floor of the mall. Some of us, some of us get on the stairs and we go on up to opportunity. Now the goal for all of us in Minnesota is that we all do well. And to repeat uh, a good old friend of mine who's now passed away, Paul Wellstone, you know we all do better when we all do better, don't we? We all do better when we all do better. So, but some people have to run up the down escalator to get up to the third floor. And then they look at you and say, oh, you made it up to the third floor? All of y'all should be able to make it up to the third floor. I'm, I get up to the third floor running up the down escalator and I'm tired. Right? Not everybody gets to go on the escalator that goes straight up. And then what if you're in a wheelchair and you're trying to get to the third floor? You can't even get on the escalator. Right? But we actually build something called elevators, right? So that everybody can get to the third floor. Now why can't we create access to opportunity for all in Minnesota? Why can't we now, I think we all believe that if people work hard and they do the right thing, they should be rewarded. Is that right? Yay! Can we do this together? <laughs>